This is the Greyhound News Network with Colby Johnson and Fiona Beard, Adam Bohm and Sneha Krishnaswamy, Maddie Kaufman and Chandler Walters, Carolyn Deedy and Trent Legaspi, and Ansley Hamilton. It's GNN. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Welcome back to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Adam. I'm not even going to try that name. And this is Pope TV. We have an official Instagram now. Follow us at official.gnn for all the greatest behind the scenes GNN news. Chick-fil-A biscuits are back. FPLA is selling Chick-fil-A biscuits every Friday on Main Street, only $3. Join Pope Marketing Club. We meet Fridays at 7.30 a.m. You can request a social media post, flyer, or poster by going to Pope Marketing Club on Instagram and submitting the Google form. And now to Chandler and Colby with the sports. This is Colby and Chandler in the morning, and now the sports. Come cheer! Good luck to our region champion cheer team. The girls will be traveling down to Columbus on Friday to compete in the state championships. Good luck, guys. Best of luck. Also, good luck to the wrestling team. The boys are competing this Saturday in the Altoona Duelist, and congratulations to Jackson Guy for winning the Dunwoody Tournament last right. weekend. Great job. We accidentally left him off this list on Tuesday. <laughs> Huge mistake, but congrats, man. We're mentioning you now. It's also worth mentioning that, um, that every one of our wrestlers placed in the tournament. Good luck again this Saturday, boys. Cross face pin and make somebody cry. Yeah! Pope Varsity girls and boys basketball teams took care of business on their home openers against Lassiter. They killed them. The girls won 51 to 44, and the boys thumped the Trojans 73 to 52 behind Ross Shepard's 26 points and 10 rebounds. It's an insane game. <laughs> yeah. The teams play at Sprayberry Thursday night. Varsity girls at 6 o'clock and boys at 7 30. Good luck, guys. The reigning region champion JV basketball team got the win in their home opener Boom. versus Lassiter. The boys took care of business with sophomores Trey Kaiser, great job, Trey, Jack Dempsey, and Arib Khan, great leading job, scorers guys. on the team. Good luck to the swim team. They are hot off their victory over 17 teams around the state in Savannah. The boys and girls are competing this Saturday at the Chief and Eagle Invitational at the Cherokee Aquatic Center. Good luck, swimmers and divers. Congratulations to the following volleyball players for being named 6A All-State. Zoran Yesilova, Ava Volkovic, Lily the Hammer Harvey, and Ayana Rogers. Also, congrats to Zoran, Ava, and Caroline, and Madison, sorry Madison, for being named the Senior All-Stars. Congrats, ladies, and you guys had a great season. Back, Back to, to you guys. guys. Thank you, guys. The Learning Commons is deleting fines for thanks for giving donation. Bring in a box or canned food item, and we will delete your fines. Each item is worth one dollar fines, no maximum. See Ms. Zonin with questions. Congratulations to our first period viewers of the week. And now for the most prestigious award at Pope High School with your host, Tane de Villiers, your first period viewers of the week. Congratulations to Coach Faf. Very much. It's been a long time coming. I can't tell you how excited they are about it. We watch it every day. Sometimes we watch it on Wednesdays. But uh, thanks for this. I appreciate it. I'll put it up there with my uh, state runner-up trophies. Our Greyhound Stout of the Week goes out to Rufus. Rufus won the Atlanta Greyhound Agility Competition in October. He plans to compete in the 2020 Ninja Warrior Competition in March. Today is National Diabetes Day. So we're going to go around and interview some of our very own diabetic greyhounds to learn a little bit more about what it's like to live with diabetes. I'm Adam, here with Jackson Brown, Coach Green, some Hoodie. So Hoodie, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, so I'm a senior here at Pope. Uh, I was diagnosed with diabetes in March of 2016. Tested when I was, um, I think, about 12 years old. Got it this year. 
uh, in January. Um, I wasn't sleeping well and um, I was like thirsty all the time. I was like, I was peeing like 25 times a day and like I would wake up in the middle of the night just to go pee and then I would also be so thirsty. I kind of had opposite symptoms of like what everyone else had. The most challenging part about living with diabetes? Um, always just having to like check and make sure that everything is going okay. I was thinking about your blood sugar and always wondering if it's in range or not. Anything else you'd like the world to know about living with diabetes? Um, you don't always have to ask, can you eat that? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Hoodie. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Greyhound News Network. And as always, have, have a great, great day, day, Greyhounds. Greyhounds.